Okay, I teased this video on social media, so let's take a look at my growing collection of Japanese screwdrivers. So this was one of them that I posted on Instagram. Pretty sure this is made by Sunflag because this is the Sunflag Perfect Grip handle on here. And a viewer also mentioned that these were made by Sunflag. This one has a removable, reversible tip. The TPE over molding isn't perfect. It's pulling away from the base material here a little bit. And we've got flashing on the seam. This company has a bunch of tools, pliers, wrenches, and screwdrivers that are decorated with the Gundam themes. Probably won't use this screwdriver much except for Instagram and YouTube. All right, let's talk about the Sun Flag 3370. There's also a 3380 series. 3370 has the striking cap, and it's not as grippy as some of the other over moldings on these other brands. Sun Flag you can find on Amazon.com, and I'll give you links, and they specifically market these as JIS standard B4633 even though you do not specifically see the JIS logo on this label. That's, this was the only label that was on this product when I got it. So there's nothing on here specifically that says JIS. And you'll find that to be true in many cases with screwdrivers. These manufacturers make Japanese cross type because they're Japanese. They don't make Phillips. They make Japanese cross type. So I've got all the vessel ball grip over here, but I've got two vessel vector products over here. And these are, they're low voltage insulated. And this is the original packaging on the vessel vector. Let's do Google Translate. Driver for vector for low voltage. So there it is. Clear indication that this is for low voltage and it's not rated for a thousand volts. These are high voltage insulated and they're labeled at 1000 volts. The insulation has a ridge or a bump. It is not a slim style. So how does the vector feel? Pretty good. Although I would, I would think that this place here is a place where I would want grippiness. Seems a little odd that that place where my fingers tend to naturally want to grip is the least grippiest part of the handle but you know it it works it does the job this much reach for me for my hands feels a little awkward with all the bulk of the handle here there's definitely plenty there to grip onto and get a feel for what kind of torque I'm putting on that. It's not bad. If you're not familiar with the Kurokin line, Kurokin just means black gold. So everything in the Kurokin series is gonna have this gold on black theme. These screwdrivers are sold by Fujia. Fujia is a company that was founded in 1923, but they primarily manufacture pliers. It doesn't look like they even manufacture screwdrivers at all. That was the impression that I got when I went through their catalog. It appears that Vessel is producing these Kurokin screwdrivers for Fujia. Okay, this one has a striking cap and it has a very basic flat tip. Here's the Kurokin flat blade. These do not have striking caps. These Annex screwdrivers are beautiful. They are rated for a thousand volts. They have the slim feature on the insulation so there is no ridge where the plastic goes to the tip. They have decent tips. They have a very nice compound on these, a nice feel to them. This is all grippy TPE over mold. This is the slippery plastic stuff there. These caps swivel. 
and they're made for drop prevention tethering. So this is the Annex. Slim insulation with drop prevention function for screwdriver work. Rotating cap. Made in Japan and rated for 1,000 volts. This is a solid state relay made in China. And this Japanese cross type just fits perfectly in that. Okay, the spinning cap works really good. It's nice having that spinning cap there. You know, having this stuff on here is a little bit annoying, but if you have to have it, then you have to have it. For some reason, they only mark the flat and they don't mark the plus. Uh, Vessel does their drop prevention series differently. They put the lanyard attachment here. These are the caps on these Vessel insulated. These are labeled for 1000 volts. Slim style, so there's no ridge where the plastic meets the tip. So this is smooth plastic. This is grippy here. Then it's smooth plastic here, grippy here, and smooth plastic here. These have a ceramic bead in there. So this is the Japanese packaging that it came with. I'm gonna use Google Translate. Hammering is okay. Hit it and it won't conduct electricity. It's magnetic and it's made in Japan. It separates the striking cap from the tang. The ceramic bead in here allows the striking cap to be hit, transferring the force to the tip while being electrically insulated. But you can see that they don't have electrically insulated shafts. These are a little bit heavy because of the metal that's in the striking cap. Okay, we can see the tips there. This Japanese number two cross type does work really well in this contactor. I can really crank down on that. It doesn't feel like it's gonna strip. I can really crank on that, doesn't feel like it's gonna strip. This Vessel 220 series uh, just has a basic cap, doesn't even have a marking on it. And this is the style that they started to produce in 1984. Um, then of course they've got the new ratcheting ones with the removable ratcheting stubby. And then the new bit driver, I reviewed this in a separate video. Vessel actually produced a Craftsman branded version of this. This is the blade style. It's a, it's a very basic plastic handle. There's no markings on the top. It's very basic. And then we've got these small ones. This one shows plus one. These don't show that it's plus one. And I believe these are the smallest ball handle screwdrivers that Vessel makes. You've got a, you've got a smaller grippy area for fast spinning. And then you've got this area here for just giving it a feather touch, not too much. Okay, that is perfect for these. I showed some of these electrical screwdrivers being used with terminals. If you don't know, the best thing for this is ECX. That's, that's what you wanna use on that kind of a terminal. This kind of stuff that's Phillips or slotted Use a hybrid slotted Phillips like the Weha Xeno. That's what I use on that stuff. I'm not gonna try to make any arguments that these handle styles are superior in their ergonomics or anything like that. They're just different. Add them to your collection. You know, I just wanted to make a fun video showing off my collection a little bit. If you're new to Japanese tools and Japanese tool collecting, I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Um, there will be links in the description to Amazon Japan. Some of these products you can only get on Amazon Japan. More and more products from Vessel are available on Amazon.com in the United States, and I'll give you links to those in the description. Hopefully I wasn't too boring for the people that 
already know about Japanese tools, um, but hopefully I was informative and clear enough for the people who are new to it to kind of bring them into it. If you're building up a tool set, Japan has a lot of very interesting things to offer. All right. Happy tool collecting and thank you for watching.